Hello all you crazy and beautiful people across the pond. I'm coming over there and I'm so excited. But right now I'm on our roof in North Philadelphia and it's a beautiful place, but it's also a place that's quite a mess. We've got abandoned houses, over 20,000 of them, more abandoned housing than there are homeless folks. We've got 700 abandoned factories. We've lost 200,000 jobs. Our neighborhood and our world is in a mess. It's a mess, there's the environmental crisis, there's poverty, there's wars and rumors of wars. We have CEOs making 500 times their workers. We've got one in six people dying because they don't have clean water. We have the richest people in the world with the highest statistics of loneliness and depression. What kind of world have we made? And yet I think the exciting thing is that God's got a different dream in mind. Almost every time Jesus opened his mouth, he talked about the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God that Jesus talked about wasn't something that we just hope for when we die, but something that we're to bring down on earth as it is in heaven. And the kingdom of God that Jesus talked about was nuts. I mean, it's, it's crazy, it's upside down. It, it, it's this idea that Jesus is blessing the poor in a world that's blessing the already rich. It, it, it's about a, a God that blesses peacemakers in a world that blesses war. A God that loves the merciful and the meek in a world that admires aggression. I mean, the stuff Jesus says, his economic plan is to consider the lilies and the sparrows, to live like the birds and not to prepare for tomorrow. His, his political strategy is to love our enemies and, and, and to, to pray for those who hurt us. And yet, I think that the peculiar ways and the things that Jesus says are starting to look really, really beautiful because we've grown tired of militarism and materialism and the myth that happiness can be purchased. And, 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 and so now I, I read the words of Jesus and I start to go, what if we really believed the stuff he said? It would turn our world upside down. The Upside Down Tour with Wren Collective coming to the UK. Fast and free to you, cause you are my home.